So barbering for me is the ultimate stress reliever. Um, the feeling of making another person look his best is just something that nothing else can give you. And every client for me is special. And every haircut for me is it's, it's something that I need to do my best at. Every haircut needs to be the best haircut. So uh, for me, barbering is not just a job. For me, it's a craft, it's a work of art, and it's something that just keeps getting better and better every day. And the barbering industry of today is not like the barbering industry of old. It is a connection between the precision old school barbering and contemporary hairdressing. So barbering of today has definitely reached the next level. And barbers from around the world are trying to elevate the barbering industry together. And there's, there's this brotherhood. There's this brotherhood and connection between the different barbers from around the world and different backgrounds and different cultures. And this is what makes barbering absolutely amazing. And everybody wants to be a barber nowadays. And that, that's, that's just so fun to watch. And we are looking forward to barbering taking, going up into the next level. So back in the 80s, barbering in South Africa, right? Your barber shops used to be these old dingy places that, you know, a father used to take his son and go in for, go in for a haircut just to get the job done. Um, it was nothing special. So in the 90s, a lot of guys started going to hair salons and there they got introduced to products, getting the hair washed and different textured styles. Whereas now you have a barber shop where you can have your hair washed, you can get awesome products and you can get the latest trendy haircuts that you used to get at the hair salons. Because what happened was in the hair salons you had a time where men became neglected. They were just shoved at the corner of the, bar, of the salons and with a whole bunch of ladies magazines to just read the whole time. So now men are getting that special care and attention, real conversation as well as great haircuts. So it's not just a place that men just want to go into and get the job done. It's about that experience. It's about that, that journey that they go through from the time they enter the shop, from the time they go into the chair up until they leave. They leave feeling brand new, refreshed and revived. I take my barbering inspiration from four global locations. I take it from America, from the UK, from Turkey and the Middle East. From America, I take the clipper work. From the UK, I take my scissor and sectioning. From the Middle East, I take my shaving and beard trimming skills. And from Turkey, I take my singeing and threading skills. So in South Africa itself, you have different people taking their barbering inspirations from different parts of the world. So we are basically a melting pot of different barbering cultures from around the world because we are taking what we love from different countries and different cultures and combining it together. So we are taking the best from all different countries. Um, so I say it's, it's going to be about the best in the world. It's about the best that the world can see, definitely. As I was growing up, I used to go to two different places to have my haircuts. I kept changing between a barber shop and a hair salon. Uh, what I liked about the barbershop was that they would do an awesome fade on my sides but the hair salon would do a better job when it came to scissor work and texture cutting the top. So I, together with all of my friends, had battled to find one place that could give you both of these services. So I realized this is what my mission is going to be. I need to bridge the gap between these two. So I'm going to become a person who can give out these two services. An excellent clipper fade together with texture cutting on the top. This is what I had strived to do and this is what I am still striving to do up until today. And this is my mission, this is what I want to do. And um, when I teach um, education classes to up and coming students, this is what I try to promote. This is what I try and instill into young and upcoming barbers. This is what we are heading towards. Okay, what I want to do is I want to transform the barbering industry. I want to eventually open up my own barber training academy and have people from different parts of the world, different races, different cultures coming in at my barber training um, academy and doing what I want to teach them. Um, in about 50 years from now, yeah, I, don't, I would like to see myself still cutting behind the chair, but I would like to see myself at the head of education of barbering in this country and maybe the world.